So Neil and Ricky, two members of the Milo 5, you're back at court again today. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh, excitable. I love court. It's the best. Neil especially loves court. Loves it. I love it, mate. I, love it. <laughs> I go once a week, at least. Now that the other court case is finished at the federal court, at the point over there, I was going there for a bit. Now the federal court's left me alone. Now it's only the Melbourne magistrates for this. Uh, a trial in November. Um, I've got a couple other court cases up in Norwell. Um, and then I've got a court case up in Gosford. So I'm jet setting around, getting all these court cases done because I'm a sick cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and Ricky is also a sick cunt junior. And I reckon we're going to smash it. Basically, what's going to happen today, in all seriousness, the Victorian police are going to show the judge or the magistrate the video evidence. So they're going to see Rick going, no, no, don't hit me, don't hit me, <laughs> running down the street, his pants falling down. You're going to see me burst through the, uh, the crowd. Don't hurt Ricky! <laughs> Raging through that, that's the footage you'll see or hear about in the, in the media, hopefully. Or so. oh, you'll just see the real footage when everyone has a, has a look. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So as you mentioned, Neil, you're used to, to going to court. It doesn't doesn't phase you at all. Is there anything you do to prepare for days like today? Yeah, I go out and buy a nice suit. Uh, this is from last time, actually. But it's a good place to pick up chicks. They're all emotionally damaged at court, so they're easy to pick up. That's that's why I like going to court. <laughs> Make the most of that. Yeah, that's I like going. To, I like going to court to see Neil because he's my friend. <laughs> So you had a victory last time where you're allowed to associate for means of lawful political communication. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about our political party. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Yeah, because we're only allowed to hang out if we're talking about politics. Hundred percent. So that's why we're here. We're doing this interview. We're doing some more interviews with Tim about politics as well. Yeah. Yeah, not just the, the, the Cooks Convicts Political Party elections coming up. Yep, we've got our uh, 2,000 members already. Yep. They're all signed up. Uh, we're just going to lodge it with the AEC. And hopefully we knock the ALA out. Which would be right, yeah. yeah. And RB, sorry man, there's a new political party on the block. 100%. And we're gonna give all of our preferences to Matthew Guy, because guess what? We want Andrews out. 100%. And you're gonna have to do that. So either vote Matthew Guy, or vote for Ricky T. Oh, there he is. What's going on? I still hate that. Sorry. Are you in Bali? You're in Bali, right? We've got a bunch of them How's it going? Good, thanks, Richie. How are you feeling today? Yeah, pretty confident. Um, haven't got the jitters at all because, uh, I mean, all the evidence is on our side. When it does go to trial, we're laughing at the moment. So, yeah, no problems in the world. So the event was December last year, so it's dragged out. We're now nearly in September. So, what's it been like to have it over your head for this long? Oh, it's uh, really annoying. Um, you know, uh, it's obviously going to end up costing us, uh, and it's all politically motivated. Um, we can thank Daniel Andrews for dragging everybody through this bullshit. Let's go. Um, can't wait till he gets voted out in November. Yes. Yeah. Bluebeard, you have caused quite the controversy this past week. Well, you know, for me it's just another Tuesday. You know, it's like, am I supposed to love every woman in this world? Any regrets about what you said? Oh shit. No, I say what I think. Uh, what's the point of regretting something that you know, somebody else is going to get offended to? There's all sorts of people in this world. It doesn't matter what you say or do. You're always going to have people that like what you do, like hate what you do. I don't care. It's all, you know, I do what I do. If they hate it, I like it, I don't care. A few of the, the organisers for the march weren't too happy about uh, what you said and there's been a bit of back and forth uh, between uh, you and uh, Neil and Abby and the Young Conservative. Uh, look, you know, the organisers want to organise a march for men, then complain when men have an opinion about the biggest issue in their life, trying to figure out women. If they don't like it, nothing I can do about it. It's not like I really care anyway. And you're here today to support the, the Milo Five? Oh, the Milo 5. I'd die for those guys. Oh, yeah, mate, Morris. 
Any closing remarks, gentlemen? Case closed. Oh, what really happened? Uh, it's been a, a stood down for a trial in March. March? March? March. March. Yeah, so a four day trial, uh, organised with witnesses and um, uh, 25 hours of video evidence is going to be presented in front of the court and to my lawyer and myself and, and thanks to John Bolt for coming down and uh, defending me today. Yeah, and you had a few supporters in the... In oh the... yes, uh, great supporters from Bendigo, the Bendigo crew, always here. Yeah, without a doubt, four of them, it's not just a uh, here's one there. Hey! Got it back, one over there. there. And a few more were out here before. There's a couple more in the car. Thank you. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're down Support here. Neil. Every court case, without doubt, on the train coming down for Bendigo. So Neil legends. did nothing wrong. <laughs> Ericsson did nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the Ericsson Express down here. And um, Gary, it's all over for you. All over, all over. Justice was uh, served on me and um, an yeah, innocent man. So you're obviously relieved? Yeah, it's good to get out of the way, put it to bed and uh, just move on in life. Are you planning to uh, still go out to uh, these sort of speaking events? Every time, yeah. I'll be at um, um, Farage next Friday, so lefties, look out for me. Come say hi. <laughs> Maybe a different strategy this time when you arrive? Oh, well listen, I, I hope I can just get in there without being attacked again and uh, yeah. Just uh, watch it peacefully. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment, and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.